me down on the floor now! You! Where's your manager? I don't. Oh, where's your fuck manager? Over there. Thirty seconds. All right, you get up off the floor. Get off the floor now! Please don't kill us. Well, then do what I tell you and open the safe. What? Hurry! Hey! Open the goddamn door! Twenty-five right, seconds. Get down on the floor. Get down, honey. Gotta hurry! Duca won't let you get away with this. Did anyone say you could talk? No. No, no, no please. Ah! Ah! Okay, honey. We gotta go. One forty-five. Come on, let's get the out of let's here. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's do it. Let's go. The cops will be here any minute, so stay on the floor. See if there's anyone back there. You! You go sit down over there. Everybody, sit down! Do you have a first aid kit? In the back. All right, you're coming with me. Come on. Hey! Hey, hey. Sit down. Get down over there now. Is there another way out of here? The back door, but it stays bolted. All right, come on. Building. Yeah, and cover the back door. Tables are turning on this little shindig. Money in the bags. Where's it from? Hmm? Dugas. What, do you think you're some sort of bank robber, huh? With them western out in holes? <laughs> oh, 
All right. We're getting the sharpshooter in position. Is there anything more you know about him? Well, they hit Duca's payroll office, and we cornered him in the cafe over there. That's it. Where do you want to set up the command post? In there. Anyone called Duca yet? No, I've been trying to avoid the asshole. Hey, what do you want to do with him? Leave him. And you, your coffee tastes like shit. Get in there and make some new coffee. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah. Hey, I'm talking to you. Look, why don't you let me make the coffee, okay? I said now. He can't hear you. <laughs> That's his fucking problem. <laughs> Is anybody else gonna have a problem doing what I say? Good. You make some coffee. You two, in there. Move them in the back. Hodges, how long until we're ready? Five minutes, just tying in these phones. What about the guy out in the street? Go ahead and pull him out. Yeah, and get their van out of the way. Go ahead and call Duca. Make sure he knows what's happened. All right, just doing my job. It's gonna cause trouble. Wouldn't be a nice day without it. All right, let's see what they have to say. My name is Detective Pulliam, and this is Detective Devlin. We need to talk with all of you. Were, were you able to recover the money? Not yet, sir. Was anyone able to get a good look at them? D do you think we'll get all the money back? Right now, we're not too concerned with the money, sir. We need to make sure all those people across the street stay OK. But, but Mr. Duca I don't want care to... what Duca wants. What I'd like each one of you to do is tell us exactly what happened. How much you figures in here? 500,000, easy. Here's the deal. You keep it brief, and you don't say anything about us. You hear me? Yeah. Hello? This is Detective Rick Devlin. I'm calling from across the street. Who am I speaking with? It's Sam. Sam. All right. Are you in charge? I guess you could say that. We heard gunfire. Are the hostages OK? Yeah, for the moment. Sam, can your partners hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. OK. So what do you want? Um, look, we weren't planning on this. Some time to think. Some time? Well, Sam, I can give you some time. If you send some of the hostages out, sign a good faith. Show me you have good intentions, and I'll do the same. Are you there, Sam? Just call back in half an hour. What the fuck you do? Why'd you, why'd you hang up on him? I didn't know what to do. I mean, they want hostages. You want to give them hostages? Fuck no. Can't let any of them go yet. Well, they want some of these people. Why don't you just shut the fuck up and get out of here? So do we have a plan? Hey, is that coffee ready? Yeah, it's ready. 
Well, go on, start pouring some coffee. Carl. Carl. Hey, who wants coffee? Coffee? Carl. Who wants coffee? You want coffee? Carl. Coffee? Carl. Somebody's gonna want coffee. Carl. What? Do we have a plan? Yeah, I got a plan. Get the fuck out there. Christ. Is she gonna make it? She'll be okay. Helping her. We wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for them. I can't just let her lie here and die. I'm sorry. How you doing, Jenny? sure about that one. What do you mean? Do you know who these guys are? No, I've never saw them before. Carl Schroeder and Max Reichman. They call themselves the Blood Brothers. They're into everything. Um, drugs, murder, human trafficking. I mean, you can pretty much do anything. I used to work for Carl's brother. And scare the girl. No, he's not. Mom says you can trust a man by his eyes. He's a good man. You can see it. He'll stop them. Oscar. Hey, Catherine. Hey. Thanks for getting here so quick. So, what do you want me working on? I want you to look at a surveillance video. Find out what they took. Right. Where can I set up? Back there. Okay. Uh, Rick? Shit. Rick, sorry to interrupt. You know Captain Burleson? Leave you know Duco. Dylan, good to see you again. Captain, we got things under control. Well, it looks like it. News is around the corner acting like a pack of hungry wolves. They want to know what's happening. But first, I'd like to know what's happening. Well, right now, I don't think you should be involved, Mr. Duca. If you'll take a seat... Honey, I'm not going anywhere until I know I have my money back. And you all know I have a lot of powerful friends. We're aware of that, Mr. Duca, but for now, why don't you go park it? For now, he stays. Keep him involved just like the rest of us, got it? So, have they made any demands? Nothing yet. They're scared. They're trying to decide what to do. Well, what do you have in mind? Putting a tactical team together to hit the cafe. In the storeroom, there's a trap door that leads to a drainage pipe. Placing two men in position right there. Those pipes haven't been used in years. I'm gonna send two men up the pipe while we hit the front with tear gas. They'll never see our guys coming from the back. I'm against this plan entirely. It's not your call. But it is mine. You can't do it. But, Captain, it's the best option. It'll work. I know it'll work, but you can't do it. The ATF is sending in a hostage negotiator. The ATF? They don't have jurisdiction on this. Yeah, we got everything under control. There's a dead man in the street and gunshots from inside. Sounds like some control. Captain, they have no right. The ATF are trained in this type of negotiation. Now, they requested that one of their agents be sent in to deal with it. Well, but th this is crazy. I mean, we're trained for hostage negotiations. Yeah, right. Why did they request an agent come up here? What are you not telling us?
One of the robbers is an undercover agent. Fuck. Why aren't they calling? They're planning. Just give them a few minutes, they'll call back. Thing. I, was, uh, I just wanted to see if you guys had a plan. I got a plan. I'm sure you're not making it up as you go. I had a plan the moment you three walked in the door. So why don't you just shut the fuck up and go sit down? Dude, you don't remember me, do you? <laughs> no. Come on, man. I used to run with your brother down south. Yeah, that's right. He was picked up for arms dealing. No, actually, it was narcotics. That's what I heard. He was working for uh, Octavian. That's right. What is Octavian? The son of a bitch set him up, too. What'd you do for him? Collections. If somebody didn't pay on time, I park a car in their living room. <laughs> that was you? <laughs> Shit, I remember that. Yeah, 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 and I also remember you kicked your ass to the wind. Ain't that right? That's right. <laughs> what do you want me to tell him? <laughs> All right, you want your van back? And a six-seater plane gassed up and ready to go. Sam, it's Detective. Just call me Rick. How are things going in there? Pretty good at the moment. Good, good. Have you thought about how to handle this? Listen, we're going to want the van back and fueled, and we want a six-seater plane waiting for us at the airport. A plane? Sounds like you're planning on running. Yeah, you could say that. That's a bad idea, Sam. Maybe I should be discussing this with your partners. Listen, I'm gonna do all the talking for now. How many others are in there, Sam? What about the van and the plane? Well, the plane's a tall order to fill. So, I'm gonna need something from you in exchange. You need something from me? Yeah. I'm gonna need some hostages, Sam. Just hold on for a second, okay? Can you hear what they're saying? He's talking to someone. Are you there? Yeah. Sorry, man. No deal. No hostages until we have everything, okay? I can't do that, Sam. I need to have some hostages. At least send the women out. Show me you're serious about doing this peacefully. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I said I can't. You've got to. Sam, we're going to turn the power off in there, and it's going to get awfully hot, OK? So I'll tell you what. Give me some hostages, and I will leave the AC on. I don't know what to do. Fuck it. I'll check. Just... Fuck you mean you'll check? You're in charge, asshole, remember? Jesus. Fuck up like that again, hmm? Hmm? I'm gonna put another bullet in your girlfriend. <laughs> you hear me? Now, what did they say? They said that they want to turn the power off and they want a hostage as a sign of good faith and they'll give you what you want. <laughs> oh, really? What, they're in charge now, huh? They making the rules? Fuck that.
What's your name, old man? Harold. Well, Harold, looks like you're going home. No, no, no. Take somebody else. Let the girl go. No! Don't hurt him! I talk to those cops. <laughs> Max, give me that mask and jacket. Okay. Rick, they're ready. We should be waiting for the ATF to get here. We're getting people out, Mr. Duca. That's what he'll be doing also. There are a dozen cops out there with guns. I'll be fine. I can get a clean shot. We got two more inside. Any shooting, they start executing hostages. You understand me? Understand. We don't want anyone else getting hurt. That's right, honorable of you. I've got a clean shot. Just give the order. Stay ready. Do not fire. How many folks you got in there? Hey! I'm into talking right now, so you just shut the fuck up! Until it's time for the raise his rifle. Rick. Don't let him control the situation. I can take him down right now. Sniper, stand down. Raise your rifle. Sniper, raise your rifle. Stand down. And these pigs! Tell them to put their guns down! That's as far as it goes. You tough guy, huh? Just keeping the field even. Oh, keeping the field even, huh? I like that, yeah, keeping the field even. <laughs> I got seven hostages keeping the field even, asshole. I'm not following you. You don't make the rules anymore, man. You cut the power, I start killing them. You send a tear gas, I start popping them. You try any fucking thing, I start blowing their goddamn brains out. It's real simple to understand. Look, we can work the- Fuck you. Where's the plane, and where's the van? We're working on it. Plane, that is. We're trying to get you a plane. Hey, you got till sundown, asshole! I don't get what I want by sundown. I'm gonna start killing one an hour. You understand me? Yes, I understand. I don't think I believe you, man. You know what I will do to these people? Yes, I understand. All right, back up. Wait. What about this hostage? Come on, give them to me as a sign of good faith.
Thanks. It goes a long way. Hold your fire! Shoot him! Hold your Shoot fire! Him. Shoot him! Somebody get that radio Shoot away from him. Shoot him! Shoot him! Got you! Damn it! Fuck you! Shut up! Fucking shoot him. What'd you say? You didn't have to fucking I shoot him. Kim. But listen! is gonna turn this into a media frenzy. They're gonna turn this around on us, you know. They always do. You okay? I shouldn't have trusted him. Hey, Rick, don't make that your fault. You did a great job. The guy's a psycho. It would have ended badly no matter what. Yeah, well, he's running the show now. I'm Noble International. Sir, 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 sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very serious situation occurring. I need to make my statements brief, and then I'll hand it over to Mr. Duca, and he'll speak for a while. Uh, At 9 a.m. this morning, four armed suspects entered the payroll offices of Duca Enterprises. They're considered extremely dangerous and have stolen an undetermined amount of money. Sir, sir, Ladies and gentlemen, as Duca Enterprises is the town's largest employer, we are keeping Mr. Duca involved through every step of this crisis. In the meantime, Mr. Duca. Uh, Mr. Duca, uh, what will you say about the hostages? Well, the ATF guy's here. He's waiting for you in the command center. Thanks. You're gonna love this guy. Why? Well, you'll see. He's a fucking piece of work. He must be Devlin. Agent Land. You got here fast. Well, I would have been here a lot sooner, but I was working on another situation up north. This is Detective Pulliam. Hi. Yeah. <clears throat> Tough break about that hostage, but uh, shit happens, I guess. I'm here to straighten everything out. What are your plans? Well, I'm going to get a conversation going. I've got an officer on the inside. I'll try to get him on the phone. You mind telling us how your officer got in there? Oh, thank you. Well, we've been tracking this little group for about a year now. They've been peddling guns and drugs to a couple of different outfits, and we heard about their plans for the robbery, but it wasn't supposed to be till the end of the month. We were going to have officers on the inside, but uh, I don't know. Something went wrong. Just. Well, maybe your guy turned. <laughs> okay. Listen. I'm a 
assuming command of this whole thing here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Assuming command. Now, Ward told you we're coming in to negotiate this. Well, I guess you heard wrong, honey. Because, uh, like I said, I've got an officer on the inside. And that gives me all the authority that I need to take over this little rodeo. Well, the man has nice boots. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, three unnamed assailants have taken the patrons of the Desert Wind Cafe hostage following the morning robbery of Duca Enterprises' payroll office just outside the Why'd you do this? Hmm? For her? My ex is an abusive prick. I left him. He took custody of my daughter and um, took her to France and wouldn't even let me talk to her. What does stealing money have to do with your ex? My first priority is my daughter, Gabrielle. We need the money to get her back. Yeah, well, I don't think that's going to be happening now. Why? What? Why'd you lose your daughter in the first place? He had lots of connections and lots of money. It really wasn't that hard for him to take Gabrielle away from us. Well, the government doesn't let you just take a child and move them to another country without permission from both parents. They do it when you have money. This is Agent Lind with the ATF. Am I speaking with Sam? Where the fuck is Rick? Well, I'm taking over dealing with your uh, demands. And um, we just need to talk. I don't want to talk to you, man. I want to talk to Rick. <laughs> well, it's all me from now on, pal. And uh, you're not going to have to deal with the locals anymore. All right, man. Go ahead. Fucking talk. How many hostages do you have? I can't tell you that, man. Well, you better tell me something. Because if we're going to make this work, we need to establish a mutual trust. You give me something, I give you something. That's the way it's going to work. Dude! You are barking off the wrong tree. You saw what happened last time. Do you want anyone else getting hurt? We don't. No, no, we don't. Well, then I fucking suggest you get the van and the plane together so we can all fucking get this over with. Mm. There ain't gonna be any van, and there ain't gonna be any plane until you give up some hostages or what you stole. What's it gonna be? Are you a fucking idiot? Do you want more people to die? Fuck. Oh. Explain something. So if you keep up with this shit, I'm gonna start executing some hostages. Sam, is this you? Hello? Hello? God damn it! What? Oh, sons of bitches! Oh! Fuck! Oh, get him back on the line. Get him on the line. God! I don't think even Jesus can plug that many holes. Well, let's see if they're ready to play nice. Christ in heaven almighty. Hello. Hey, you listening now? Hey. How many people were hurt? You ready to stop making demands? I'll tell you what I need. 
to make this work. You really want to see people die, don't you? I need to come in, okay? I just need to walk in. I just want to take a look, that's all. I just want to walk in, take a look, and just talk to you. I'm not even armed, okay? It's never going to happen. I just want to take a look. Hey, you watching Channel 3? No. Should I be? All right. That reporter. She can come in with the camera. I know she's not a cop. You like her, huh? Okay. Guess what? I ain't gonna send a reporter in there. Well, she comes in or no one comes in. That's the rule. Get that reporter in here. Go get her. What, you got shit in your... Yeah, I heard him. Come on, Bears, move! Hey, I mean, you can't be serious. You can't even be thinking that. Oh, I am thinking that. I'm thinking a mile a minute. And you better hush yourself up, because I know a lot more about this than you do. Honey. If he calls me honey one more time, I'm going to shoot him myself. I know. The guy's an asshole. Just focus on what we got to do, all right? Think about those people across the street. Come on, let's get to work. You sure you're okay with this? Okay. This is a chance of a lifetime. I'll get a promotion for this. Yeah, but it's dangerous. I know the risks. Nothing dangerous is gonna happen as long as you don't do something stupid. You know what to do, ma'am. I'll make sure to get as many of them on the camera as possible. As soon as I know everything is fine, I head back out. We'll be watching you from the command center. You walk in, you turn around, you walk out. You got it? Let's do it. She's outside. She's ready to come in. She's unarmed. She's too pretty to kill. All right, listen, I'm gonna have to pat you down, okay? I don't like this being broadcast live. Me neither. Christ, this is how it works. Look around, you can see that everybody's okay, but you keep the camera on my face, okay? You understand? Yeah. All right, follow me. Well, there's four hostages visible. Why keep the camera on his face? It's staged. They don't want the camera to see something. There's one suspect and another hostage. Where'd that second camera come from? It's a micro camera, it's a cell phone camera, it's a backup. Why, oh, you idiot. Hey, hey, why don't you go shopping? Sorry, no questions. No, just a couple of questions. What the hell is she doing? What's going on? Better do something. All right, shut it down. 
Shut the whole damn thing down. Cut off the main camera transmission. I want a direct line only. Alpha unit, are you in position down in the pipe? Alpha unit's ready. Stand down, officer. Catherine, get the outside team ready. I told you to stand down. You stop right there. Hey, we're on again. Alpha unit, on my mark, you go in. I repeat. I, uh, I thought I told you to stand down, didn't I? He's raping her. There's already one dead person because of you. I don't need anybody else executed from some half-baked counter plan. Evelyn, he's right. It won't work. They'll kill everyone. We still don't know what's happening in the main room. Say it. Say it. God damn it, say it. All units stand down. I repeat. All units stand down. Alpha unit coming Thank out. You. I want to know which one of them is your officer. Back to the tables. Let's go. Come on, come on. Okay. No. She stays alone. That was quick. <laughs> I worked up an appetite. Well, I'll bet, yeah. A little hungry. <laughs> Piece of shit. What'd you say? Yeah, that's what I thought of. Why don't you go in the kitchen and cook us up some food, all right? Something nice. Steaks. Steaks? Mm. Yeah? Steaks sound good. Come on, let's go, let's go. You, go help her. No, I'm not leaving my daughter. I... Uh... Shut up! Yeah, you are. <gasps> Been trying. They're just not answering. Give him some time. Let's go see what's going on. So now what? Well, <clears throat> the van is on its way back. But we need to buy some time. So I don't want to give it to them until the deadline. <sighs> I can't do this by myself. Send them into the uh, sewer tunnel underneath the building. Have them run a camera up through that trap door in the back, and we can see what the hell is going on whoa, inside. Whoa, whoa. We don't even know if there's anyone in that room. Why don't you use air conditioning? There's air conditioning ducts that run between the cafe and the upstairs apartments. Snake it through the vent and into the dining room. Is that doable? Yeah, that'll work. I 
we say. Okay. Let's do it. You okay? Yeah. Hey, Max, I'm on TV. All right. How are we going to get out of this? We're working on it. I don't think you should do anything else. We have an idea. Honey, does your mom have a cell phone in her purse? Yeah. We need to get it. some gum. We need to get the car's attention somewhere else so Sam can make a phone call. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you talk to him I'm out of this room? Um, excuse me? I need to use a restroom. Where do I need to pee? Yep. Yeah. Hello? Right. I just patched this call through from 911 from across the street. This is Devlin. Hey, it's Sam. Sam, what? Listen, I just want to tell you we're not holding anybody hostage. Two guys came in here and took over this morning. Their names are Carl Schroeder and Max Reichman. Look them up, you'll find their warrants. These guys are insane. I just want to tell you that it's not us. All right, Sam, I hear you. But how do I know I can trust you? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Walk out the goddamn door. They're fucking killing people in here. This was not supposed to happen. All right. But we're going to need to work together, okay? Bill. He's a cop. A cop? I don't have time to explain. Bill should have a backup gun. Tell him you know who he is and to use it. Bill's dead. Max killed him. Sam? Sam. Here you go. I'm just checking her one. 
Don't you dare do that to me again. Hey, food's ready. You're lucky I'm hungry, bitch. Should we tell Lynn this guy is dead? No. He, he, it might get him to leave. I don't want anyone to know. Well, can you trust this guy? You might want to see this. OK. So what do you have? This is the surveillance footage from the vault. I've been watching it to get some idea of who the suspects are. And I found something that just doesn't make any sense. Take a look at this. Hmm? OK, so what's the point? Well, the point is this. These are the vault ledgers. They keep records of the money and locations. Now, if you scroll down here, this is all the money on the first shelf. Each amount is recorded here. Now down here, here's supposed to be the money she took. According to the morning's records, there isn't supposed to be any money there. So it's a screw up. Look at the money they're taking. If it's a screw up, it's a very expensive one. Let's get the manager back in here. Find out what's going on. All the trouble I brought you into. Yeah. How long has it been since you've seen her? Over a year. I miss her so much. Her father wouldn't even tell me if she's okay. That's not right, you know? father taking a child that far away from her mother. I don't care how much money he has. Uh, I don't know why you're talking like this. I'm, I'm not justifying what they've done. No, I would hope not. She's a criminal. There's probably a very good reason why her daughter's gone. Well, it's OK. You don't know anything about me. That's right. You look like somebody who's been comfortable most of her life. You chose crime. While the rest of us are out there working for our money. You'd endanger the life of your own child. I would never, I would never hurt Gabriella. I was a very good mother. Oh, well, good mothers aren't thieves. OK, all right. Uh, Alice, how long have we known each other, huh? <laughs> if something happened to Jenny, you would go to the ends of the earth to get her back. This is a mother who has a daughter that needs her, just like you, honey. I don't like what I've done. But I've done it. I've learned my lesson. And you're going to get your daughter back. I know it. Thank you for being so kind to me. Sorry for getting you into this. Well, I can't blame you two for what they're doing, right?
What is that? It ain't fucking Santa Claus. Fuck. Hey, fuck! What? Give me the asshole! Uh, hold on. Rick, they're on the phone. This is Devlin. Who the fuck is on the roof? The roof? Shit. Is it gone? Sam. Wait, they're running around Sam. out there? Yeah. We need to get the bills gone. I know. What the hell is going on? Are those my men up there? They're running the camp! Oh, shit. McCray, what unit? Echo team and Foss is down. They shot right through the fucking ceiling. I need a medic! South side! I'm are, on it! Are you happy? Not yet, I'm not. We're gonna get every single one of them. Where's the van? It's not coming. Not coming? Captain, what the fuck is oh, he talking yeah. about? Detective. Uh, it, we just figured that it's easier to keep him contained here. Now we're going to bring the teams in through the front door and through the sewer duct. That was my plan all along. It's a good plan. Minimum casualties. It's our best option. Best option? Maybe hours ago. Now they'll be waiting for us. They're going to execute those people. Like I said, it's the best plan. Leave it up to us. We know exactly what we're doing. Yeah? Is this how you guys handle Waco? Hey, hey, hey! What are you looking at? Do something! Hey, detective, deal with it, or I'll relieve you. Good. Now, uh, Duca and I, we're gonna go talk to the press. Lynn, you coming? No! Rick? Rick? What do you want me to do with the manager? Uh, have someone take him down to the station. Right. Um, for now, keep quiet about the money, OK? After what I just heard, you know it. Lasker, don't let Duca see him here. I can't believe this shit. Excuse me. That reporter in the back, can I please bring her some of your food? Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna get that gun. So please, just something to drink, just some water. All right. Come on, come on. Her. Can I have just like a minute alone with her? Oh, hell no. What are you talking please, about? Please, what am I gonna do? There's no windows in here. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Please. Please. I'll be right outside the door. You got one minute. Thirty seconds. Okay. 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 What? 
down over here. Get another one. Okay, thanks. So? They confirmed everything just like you thought. I got a very bad feeling about this. I've been hearing that a lot today. Go round up Lasker and Bishop. What's going on? I'll tell you when you get back. This is Devlin. It's getting pretty fucking crazy in here. We need to get out of here. Just hang in there, Sam. Something's about to go down. I want you to listen carefully. Fuck you, man! Dead. No, I'm telling you, man. Where's my band? Fuck. I'm sick and tired of your fucking bullshit, man. This is the last phone. Fuck it. Phone's off the hook until I get my band! So, what's going on? We're taking Duca down. Follow me. Can you believe the way that little son of a bitch talked to me? Calm down. All right, everything's under control. We're gonna move on to the next phase. Is that so? Detective Pulliam, please put Mr. Duca in cuffs. It will be my pleasure. What? Are you out of your mind? You can't get out of here. Hey, hey, hey don't touch the door. Hey, 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 get off me. Hey, 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 what are you doing here? Take your hands off here. <laughs> Captain, I'm placing these two under arrest. You're out of your mind. Devlin, I'll have your badge for this. You want to explain yourself, Devlin? The money in Duca's vault was being used for a shipment of illegal weapons. This is outrageous. Hey, we already got a confession from your manager. And this one's not even a cop. <laughs> I had Catherine call the ATF field office. They don't have an agent, Lind, and they never sent anybody down You're here. out of your mind. My guess is he works for Duca, and they were trying to get the money back before anybody found out. Cuff him. Hey, 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 hey. Hey! Hey! Get off of me! Hey, whoa, Why? whoa, 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 whoa. Stay right there! Take it easy, Lind. Put the gun down. Eat shit! Is it true? You work for Duca? Don't say a goddamn word. Shut up. You're gonna die here, Lind. You got guns trained on you from every direction. You give the word, I can take him anytime you say. I ain't going down for this asshole. Well, then let's make a deal. Why are you protecting him? Don't say a goddamn word, you piece of shit. I shit. told you to shut up! I can end this right now. Just give me the shot. Everybody stay calm. God damn it, give the order. I can take him. You know what? He thought the money was going to get away, and the dealers were going to blame it on him. Are you out of your fucking mind? Just give me the goddamn order. I'll burn you for this. This is my shot. I can take it. I'll fucking destroy your life. I think I told you to shut the fuck up. Now! <laughs> Clear this up. I got dibs on the boots. God damn! <laughs> it's fucking nuts, man. They keep killing each other. Who am I gonna kill? What's going on? Apparently, the money in the bags was for weapons. I guess the bus outside went bad. <laughs> so, are they even paying attention to us now? <gasps> yeah, more so than ever, I guarantee it. Do you think they'll actually let us out of here? Let me get out of here. Don't worry. I promise. Hey. Hey, what's all the whispering, huh? We were just wondering what's going on outside. What's that? Um, it, it, it's in my purse. Uh, um, it's um, right here. Oh. Wait, I, 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 I... Walk away! Don't get the fuck away! Hey! Chill, man. 
Found it. Who's George? That... That's my husband. He's expecting us. All right? Max, do you even know how you're going to get out of this? The cops will never let you drive away. Who said we're driving there, gut shot, huh? What the fuck else are you gonna do? I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe we'll let the cops come in here and shoot all of you and then Carl and I will just be a couple of survivors with a half a million dollars cash. How about Max. that? Of course, you know, hey, that's just one plan. Max, hmm? it's never gonna work. Oh, yeah? yeah. You wanna bet? Yeah. Hey. <gasps> Hi. What's the plan? We'll bring the van in, Captain. When they come out, we'll hit them hard and fast. Let's do this thing. You heard him. Hey, Max, I got a genius fucking idea. <clears throat> Check it. Hey, Carl. Guess what? Got my old gun back. You stupid son of a bitch. Hey, look, Carl, they're pretty fucking fast. Max, shut the fuck up. Well, this is gonna be bloody. Get him out of here. Oh. Can't let you do that. our life, and we're going to have Gabrielle, okay? Thank you, Sam. I'm hurting pretty bad, Carl! Quit 
quit your bitching. But it hurts! Stay with me. Just hang in there, man. Carl, your boyfriend's dead. I'd give up if I were you. Don't twitch. You neither, bitch. Sam! Stay back. How are we gonna end this? One of us living, one of us dying. Probably so. <sighs> oh, shit. Alpha team secure, I'm bringing them out. We need medics, one of the hostages is down. Where are the others? Everyone else is dead. Where's Sam? What, you mean the robbers? Yeah. They're dead, they're dead. I got three down back here. Oh, shit. Rick, is something wrong? What's the matter? You recognize one of these people? No. I couldn't have 
done this without you. I love you. I love you too. Put the gun down. Put it down, Sam. Put yours down, Rick. Don't make this hard. You're the one making this hard. Oh, my God. I thought we were fucked back there. Hey, partner, shit happens. People got killed. Just means more for us. So you think Max and Carl were the robbers? Yeah, for now. By the time they figure it out, you'll be long gone. I need to see the doctor. Cars this way. How's Marianne doing? Everyone's fine. So what are you gonna do with your cut? Uh, we're gonna go to get Gabriel back. You know all of it? Actually, we need to talk about that. <laughs> what? Tacos and, uh, coffee. Well, the same thing. Okay. Hey. Wow, looks like business is starting to pick back up. Yeah. How's Miriam? You know, she's good. She'll be back next week. Good, good. I need you to sign for these. After that day, it got me thinking. Someone once told me that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Shit. I think hell is paved with all my bad choices. Some bad guys went down along the way, and some good people died because of it. That's my hell. I think I'm gonna try something different now. Maybe it's not about choices or intentions. Maybe if I just change the life I lead, I can tear that road to hell apart. And maybe, just maybe, I can help someone else out along the way.